Good morning. This is uh, at bonus down still. We had uh, about three quarters of an inch of rain last night, Madonna. Yeah, there were 76 points of rain last night, which was just magic on top of the um, previous night's rain as it's well. brought these bloody flies out. <laughs> Before I hand over to Madonna, who's the host here and who, who welcomes guests, um, tourists from all over the world here as a working cattle station and lovely quarters out the back. I've got to point out a lake over there, beautiful swans on it. Lots of wildlife around, kangaroos, cattle, um, and perhaps a hand over to you and you can take us through the house. We love to see all the wildlife here now. The, uh, the wildlife's amazing. But yet when we first came here in um, 1990, when we purchased the property, uh, because it was just a wall to wall of trees, there was no wildlife or anything here. Um, so we do, are very proud of all our wildlife. Down here on the dam, we get pelicans, uh, brolgas, all sorts of bird life and mm -hmm. whatever. And, and one of the photos inside of the old days showed the land cleared. Yeah, it was all open. This and here was all open country. It was all naturally, naturally open. Naturally open. because it was neglected, the woody weeds came up instead of the yes, natural grass. Yes, yes. And uh, also, I think, because, you know, you don't have the fires like they did mm -hmm. years let's, ago. Let's Lyle's grandmother died in 97, at the age of 97, mm -hmm. and she never threw anything out, hence all like the mom. old, yeah, and it's amazing. Uh, even like this here, we haven't advanced very much. This here is just a, um, you know, the curling one, and they used to put this in the fire, heat it up, and curl their hair. Likewise here, the Morse code, well nowadays they just oh, text and everything, That's isn't it? That's a Morse code, that there. And the book and everything is already still here. So you can come here and really learn it. Look at this. Yeah, and... 300,000 um, acres. Originally it was, and that, that there is the original shearing shed, shearing. which is sadly on the block next door. Uh, and they shore 130,000 sheep here one year. And they, uh, when old Sir Samuel McCacky bought it, um, he built accommodation, which is now on the block next door, for 100 men. And that shearing shed is a 42 stand shed on a straight board. And, and now we can't afford to employ, farmers don't employ things, they work their wives and themselves into the ground <laughs> because of the cost of labour and bloody taxation. Last night dinner was fantastic. Lyle's a bloody good cook, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good cook and he's got it down to a fine art. <coughs> and your sticky date pudding's not shabby either. No. Bloody great. Okay. Most people enjoy it. Hmm? What's the smokehouse? Uh, this here was all built, I say, by slave labour when the kids had come home from boarding school and I'd always have a project on the go. And uh, this was one of them. All the timbers all from here. Um, and Graham Chambers that you met last yeah, night, yep. he actually built that whole rotisserie set up as well. But this... So everyone's uh, out here pretty practical. Oh, yeah, they are. You've got to be a jack yep. of all trades and master of none, they say, isn't it? But, <clears throat> but this um, board here which is a 26 uh, foot 7 inches. When we restumped the cottage there, it was the fascia board along the veranda there. And so I just put it under the house. This was prior to us building this here. And, um, and I thought, oh, one day we'll use that for something. So when we did this project, um, the board was there. And we were thinking, oh, what will we call it? And someone came up with the smokehouse for board. Yes, probably the only time we, uh, it really refers to the smokehouse is when somebody's burnt the meat, hey? <laughs> I, I love the chimney. That's the original? Yes, that's all original. And all of those chimneys, all of uh, Macaki's properties, like Dunlop, Torelli, all of his uh, properties that he owned, all have that um, feature of the chimneys in them. Well, yeah. take us inside. We will. A bit muddy because of the mu rain last night. Yes, this is where it all happened. Some good parties uh, had in here. And this here is the rotisserie. So we can put a full sheep on there, um, or a piece of beef, whatever. We've had goat, pork, and so it's a great way to feed, feed a crowd. Well, last night was really good. Uh, thank you very much for getting so many wonderful people from around the district here to listen, and so that we could listen to them. That was just great. I learned a lot last what, night. Wonderful. Fantastic. And that's what this here is all about, mm -hmm. you know, and with the tourists, I mean, they come from all over the world. You've only got to read the visitor's book to uh, see how much they appreciate mm -hmm. and um, to be able to come to somewhere like this here. And both Lyle and I feel very proud of these old buildings that were all built in 1911 by Sir Samuel McCackie. Um, and, you know, we have saved it 
from being destroyed. We went so here through. we are in the guest house, and I had one of the best sleeps I've ever had last night through the rain, everything. Fantastic. Tell us about the guest house and, and especially your business. Uh, this, the, this here used to be the Jackaroos quarters, and so there's three rooms on either side um, to, to, um, for the guests and whatever. To th they can come here and be fully self contained. Um, and, well, mm -hmm. the cottage is fully self contained, Good so that, yeah, they've got everything in there or I can do the food for them. Um, even though it sleeps 12, I don't put strangers in with strangers. <laughs> uh, but, you, you know, it blends itself to groups or people that all And you've even air-conditioned those rooms for I the city know, sleepers. I know, I know. Hey, people Facebook, get, telephone uh, number? 0746 231 573. And we're on Facebook, uh, our website, uh, bonusdownfarmstay.com.au Okay, mm. thank you And we much. welcome people from all over the world. And you certainly make them welcome, I can tell everyone that. <laughs> yeah.